Hello everyone and welcome to Everest Ice and Water. Today we're going to cover some things that are absolute deal breakers when it comes to choosing an ice and water vending machine. Before we begin, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you can keep up with everything we're doing here at Everest and don't forget to like the video. It really helps. Now I know that shopping around for an ice and water vending machine can be a little daunting and tiresome at times, but don't fret, I'm here to help you speed up the process and narrow down the list of potential manufacturers. And you're probably thinking, oh of course you are, you're just gonna tell me that the Everest machine is the best. Well, duh. But let me explain why. These deal breakers are just a few simple things that can either help you eliminate or include a manufacturer in your search. Deal breaker number one is reverse osmosis. So to sell ice, obviously you need to have access to water. To sell good ice, you need to filter that water. Other manufacturers will try to upsell you an expensive reverse osmosis system. And let me tell you, it's just about as complicated as it sounds. Reverse osmosis uses super expensive filters and it's really slow at filtering water. It also requires that you store that filtered water in a reservoir, which takes up a lot of space. If that reservoir runs out of filtered water on a busy day, you're putting a cap on your earnings and you have to wait quite some time for that tank to fill back up. Like reverse osmosis literally moves at a dripping pace. It'll take hours. And when folks walk by and see that your vending machine isn't working, they're likely to head elsewhere to buy their ice. Plus having all of those filters and that reservoir means that the overall size of your machine is gonna be huge. That can limit the number of places you can set it up. This means that spending an extra four to $5,000 for a reverse osmosis system just doesn't make any sense. Everest machines, however, use a five-stage filtration process from Everpure, the very same filtration system that's used by that fast food chain, you know, the one with the golden arches, to make their coffee and their sparkling sodas. And if it's good enough for billions and billions served, we think it'll be good enough for the thousands of customers that you'll serve every year. The Everpure system filters as it dispenses, which means you never run out of filter water. And the filters are small, cheap, and easy to find. So no holding tank, no complicated or expensive pumps, nothing exotic at all. In fact, the whole system is so compact that it fits in a steel cabinet that takes up less than half the space of a parking spot, about 20 square feet. Deal breaker number two is expensive fees. Other manufacturers are going to charge you monthly fees, maintenance fees, licensing fees, franchising fees, etc., etc. You'll never guess what Everest charges you every month. Or maybe you will. Everest charges you nothing. Yet, you still have access to our customer support. At Everest, you'll never pay to speak to our service team. Maintenance fees? We have only one moving part. So what is there to maintain? Actually, there's no factory recommended maintenance on the entire dispensing system at all. We don't charge you a licensing fee to use our name on your machine, and we offer custom branding so you can have your own brand on your machine. All of these fees are just ways for other manufacturers to line their pockets. And of course, we're a manufacturer too. We're not a franchise. The Everest VX is incredibly efficient, and it keeps your monthly expenses at a minimum. We want you to be successful. Period. Deal breaker number three is overly complicated equipment. Typically, ice vending machines are incredibly complicated machines. There can be dozens of moving parts. Augers, beater bars, arms, doors, magnets. How do they even work? And more. And all of these moving parts are just things that can and will break. Instead, get an Everest VX. There's only one moving part to dispense ice, and it's called VersaVen. It's a patented, giant rotating drum that's attached to a direct drive gearbox, which was originally designed for the mining industry. That thing is freaking robust, man. This means there are fewer parts to break, less in maintenance costs, less in downtime, less stress. Deal breaker number four is self-bagging machines. If the ice only leaves the machine in a bag, that is a waste. Instead, give your customers options. Bulk vending puts the ice directly into their cooler or container, and bulk customers buy a lot of ice. Plus, having all that complicated self-bagging garbage in your machine is just adding failure points. And if you're bagging the ice inside of the machine, you are now considered part of the packaged food industry, which means you're subject to more rules, more regulations, and operating costs. The VX is a self-serve machine, where the customer chooses to either receive the ice in a bag 
or vend it directly into their cooler. It's simple, it's efficient, and it will keep the customers coming back specifically for bulk ice vending. Deal breaker number five is an exposed ice maker. The ice maker is the most expensive component in your ice vending machine. It's worth typically around seven grand. Most companies stick the ice maker on top of the machine and cover it with a fabric canopy. It's exposed to the elements, theft, and vandalism. Who thought that was a good idea? Honestly, this is just bad engineering. Plus, this means that your machine is shipped to you in two pieces and you have to assemble it in a parking lot. And we're not talking a Lego set. You'll need a crew with forklifts, specialty tools, lots of manpower, just to put it together. At Everest, we install the ice maker inside the steel cabinet in our factory where we have quality control. It's protected under lock and key and it's protected from the elements. That is good engineering. So if you buy a machine, even if it isn't from Everest, if you avoid these five deal breakers, chances are you're setting yourself up for a successful business from the start. But Everest makes a machine that's compact, reliable, and efficient. It doesn't use reverse osmosis, it doesn't require expensive monthly fees, and it offers bulk and water vending as standard. Yeah, that's the Everest VX. Lastly, all Everest machines are built here in the USA using all American-made components. Everything from the Scotsman ice maker right down to the steel we use to construct it. We are proud to buy American and you should be too. I think we both know it's a great idea to click the link in the description below or send an email to sales at everesticeandwater.com to speak with a product specialist today. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.